Okay, okay, you rock with me the one on DJ J. Erica. Okay, now, I'm recording this segment, this special segment, just to give my review on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Alright, they're in their second episode. This is like, ep- was it season six, I want to say? Man, it is getting too crazy for me right now. Alright, so we got Phaedra. You know, she had her baby. She's with Apollo. That named her child Mr. President. Okay, I'm not going to hate on that. We're going to move along. We got Kenya over here. Pretending she got fake paparazzi out there chasing her with with cell phones and stuff like that. Just because she won a case about her being evicted. Lord, I don't even know. Then we got, let's see here. We got Kenya. Did we take Kenya? Wait, we just talked about Kenya. Okay, so what else? We got the model. Um, I don't know why, but her name slips my mind right now, y'all. But we got the model. She supposed to be, you know, having some stomach issues and stuff like that. And she can't be with her husband like that. So she's running back and forth to the hospital about that whole situation. We got Portia. Never ending divorce saga that's never ending and continuing. And all of that in between. Plus we got Candy's mama just going for her. Saying that Candy shouldn't be married to the man that she's supposed to be with. Because he ain't rich enough. And y'all, it's just a whole bunch of hoopla going on in the Real Housewives of Atlanta this season. And of course, it's always Nene that gotta be the one to be the classy one. And everybody look up to Nene. You know, kudos to my girl Nene. Because she just always... She always just, you know, everybody just want to be Nene. And it don't matter who it is in the cast. Everybody just listen to Nene and, hey, whatever. She's very rich. I guess they just feel like, okay, I'm going to always listen to Nene. But, you know, let's continue on with this. Now, you know, I personally feel like the first two episodes of Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, it, in a smidge, it's not even much to really, you know, say about it. You know, we got Kenya walking around here. She... I guess she supposed to have got evicted from her house. And now she at court. She don't want the case because she said that she was illegally evicted. And she was just so happy and all this other stuff. And then it's an event going on with the girls. And she is just uh, talking to Nene and in her feelings because she br- decides she wants to bring up Walter. Now, Walter, you know, Walter was a dude from last season that didn't want her. And it's like, okay, after a while, okay, it's tired breaking when somebody don't want you. But, girl, when you say move on and let's be continue and let's move on to the next thing, she don't want to. I'm going to need her to bring more. I don't know. She's going to have to bring more to this whole franchise. Like, she's not really entertaining me. And she's still stuck on the same thing from last season with Walter. It's like, Lord child, do anybody care about Walter? I don't know. Is she going to get bad and needy for inviting this man to her wedding? I didn't know that she was in charge of Nene's life and that she was such a good friend to Nene. Like, didn't y'all just start talking when she came on the show a year ago? So, how is she going to be telling people who and who can't come to her wedding? Like, like Nene said, she got her together. She told her to have several seats. And, you know, she said her piece and stuff. But it's like, Kenya, you're going to have to bring more to this franchise and this show because besides Walter. Because this is all I keep hearing about you. And you just, every season... I, you know, I try to give you the benefit of the doubt, but I realize that you really is just crazy, okay? Next, all right, so we got Portia. She got her divorce and stuff going on, and it's like, okay, we understand Cordell is not the one for you. She's saying that she think Cordell, you know, could be gay. I don't know. Cordell, you know, don't went on the radio station. He ain't gay. I don't know what it is, but, y'all, all I can say is, Work and do you. I'm not here to judge. Okay? Do you. But Portia, girl, I don't understand how you could be with somebody and truly not have much for yourself at the end of the day. Y'all, I'm looking so tired because, Lord, I do not sleep anymore. I got to get me some sleep after this, honey. But, okay. But back back to Portia. You know, she got a divorce going on for Cordell. She's claiming that Cordell just... Woke up one morning and decided to go on a blog site and Twitter and say, I'm getting a divorce. And that's how she found out about it. And, you know, they going back and forth to court. Her mama put her 10 seat, her, uh, ten, you know, 10 cents in and saying that Cordell was basically a terrible husband and didn't treat her right. And, you know, wasn't there when she was supposed to be there. And I just, you know, 
It's just so crazy to me that now this man is the most worst man in the world. When last season, Portia was just writing and dying and just doing everything she could for him. And now she just despised him and now he gay and now he all of these different things. But last season, you was doing everything that he told you. If you, he told you to dance on top of a table for some chicken, you, you would just, you know, she was just all into it. So, I don't know, y'all. I really don't know what's up with that. And, you know, he decided he wanted to leave her. And according to Cordell, he's saying that the reason why he left her is because she was a terrible stepmom and wouldn't let him have his child's birthday party at their house. And he didn't, she didn't treat his side of the family right, y'all. And then I was like, okay. Okay. I mean, if that's what his excuse is going to be, I guess okay. But that's just something like that. It's just not worth somebody getting a divorce over. It just don't sound right to me. Okay, you didn't like my son having a birthday party, so now I want to divorce you. It just don't make any sense to me, y'all. But, hey, it is what it is. I don't know if those rumors is true, but that excuse just don't sound right to me. Now we got, who we got over here? Okay, so we don't want Portia. We don't say a candy. No, we got to get to Candy. Okay, Candy, you know, Candy is skipping and in love. She with her boyfriend, Todd, or her fiancé. And, you know, they've been talking for about, i say, two years now. And now Candy and them is engaged, and they plan on getting married, and, I don't know something is going on with the house with her mama. I don't know her mama on the street or what's going on. But, Lord, I don't know. But, anyway, so, you know, Candy had the mom come over. And this just seems so notorious that Candy mom do not like her fiancé. And it, if we watch The Real Housewives now, I've been watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta since Lord knows. Lord knows, since the very first episode. So, and even, I remember all of the housewives and when they just transitioned and brought Candy in here. And as long as Candy been on the World Housewives of Atlanta, her mama really never never liked any of the men that she dated. Why? I don't know. But it's just sometimes some people's parents is just like that. I can't stand overbearing parents that's always in their kid's relationship. At the end of the day, if she with that person, let them be with that person to call the day. It's not you. I know that you don't like the person, but at the end of the day, these girls be out here, they... They're going to be with whoever they want to be with, whether you don't want them to be with them or not. So, girl, just hold your peace and call it a day. Candy is almost 40. She a grown woman, you know, and no disrespect to her mom. But, listen, so she go in and say that she feel um, Todd is an opportunist. And she said, opportunist for what? Because he makes his own money. And then the mom said she didn't care if he was with a firefighter or whatever. But she was just talking about, you ain't want your daughter to be with somebody that's an opportunist and poor. So, I mean, if she was with a firefighter, he dang sure would be an opportunist because he had the opportunity to move up in life from where he is. So, hey, mama, I'll tell you, mama Joyce, mama Joyce. Okay. And then what else is going on? Okay, so, you know, Candy, uh, you know, and I don't know what's going to happen with their relationship. She's trying to bring her kid, the kid, and the mama trying to bring the kid in there, talking about the kid don't like Todd. And, Lord, I don't know if they're going to get married or what. And also, the mom is claiming that that uh, Todd is having an affair with Candy's close friend. I don't know, but this season about to just be getting all types of crazy and scandalous. And Mama Joyce, uh, kudos to you and everything else for you to just go ahead and Bring that about and have, you know, say whatever you got to say. I don't know, but, okay. So, did we go down the list? We had Candy. We got, okay, we got Candy. We got Portia together. We got Kenny together. I can't even get Nene together because Nene is just Nene. Like, ain't really nothing to get together. She just be getting the girls together and just telling them what, no, this ain't right. That ain't right. Go ahead and sit down. And then, you know, Phaedra, I just ain't much to really talk about with Phaedra. You know, Phaedra done had her two kids. I don't, y'all, I don't really care about it. I mean, her storyline is kind of boring now, you know what I mean? So it's just like, Lord, I'm just trying to get it together, girls. Listen, but make sure you guys tune in to The Real Housewives of Atlanta. It comes on Sunday nights. I think it's at 8 p.m. It's going to be a crazy season. It's always some drama going on and things of that nature. But, child, wait until next season when the... Le See, somebody in the pot messaged me and threw me off. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, but wait until... Uh, next time on my show, cause I'm gonna give y'all a review of this old ratchet, uh, what they call it, um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, I mean New York, <laughs> because it is a replica, aka, uh, what they call it, aka the Real Housewives of New York, aka the Real Housewives of Atlanta, aka, I don't even know, you know, just Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, it's just a bunch of mess put together, and it's obviously... Love and Hip Hop Atlanta brought to New York. 
I don't know, Mona Scott. You done run the hell out this script. Like, y'all, she done put it together this time. You know what I mean? We got the fake Stevie J over here. We got fake Jocelyn. And then she had the nerve to even do a B continue and bring somebody that's from the Atlanta show over and brought K. Michelle in here. So, it's just been crazy this week. I can't with him because he got a wife and he had the, the he going to marry the side chick. Mm-mm, I ain't even got the time, y'all. But I'm going to tell y'all about it this coming Wednesday because last week was just too much going on for me. You know, we got this new artist, this dog and Rich Jollas, saying that he ain't nothing. But honestly, Rich Jollas, no disrespect, but I really don't see much. He ain't got as many receipts that I thought he would. You know, Olivia, what happened to Olivia? Because somebody tell me where is Olivia right now. O Olivia, call me so we can figure out what exactly happened with your management deal with Rich Jollas because... You was just the focal point of his life for the first two seasons of this loving hip hop New York stuff, and then all of a sudden, put you know she just disappeared for a while, and now we had the new girl that he was with, and he was sleeping with her, and then bam, he stole the song from her, and then he gonna go ahead and bring himself on in there and trying to introduce himself to this new girl that's a stripper, done turned actress, singer, whatever she's supposed to be, rapper, and now he's trying, you know, and she just basically was saying, "I'm not feeling you, you whack," and, and stuff like that, y'all. I ain't even got the time, you know what I mean? So, he's a, in his feelings and stuff like that. And, of course, we got, you know, and he's, you know, has his ego. And she just basically kicks him out and stuff. And then over here we got, who else we got over here? Um, um, We got Stevie J Jr. Um, I call him Stevie J Jr. Because, Lord, he's just a nicer version of Stevie J. Because he done been with his girl for 13 years. Got a house full of kids and... He ain't put a ring on it. But meanwhile, he got Miss Fake Jocelyn Hernandez from Germany over here just scootling, doodling, and singing on her keyboard. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay. And then it come to find out he really married this girl. So now he's walking around with his wife, the side piece, a.k.a. his wife, and got the woman that should have been his wife on the other side. And it's just, I can't. I can't deal with it, y'all. But I'm going to do a review for that. And I'll put that up later. But I had to just get this off my chest. I'll see y'all later. I ain't want this video to be that long. But I had to get this review out. I'm going to post it on here. And if you want to tune into my show and get some more reviews, let me know. I'm live right now. I'll be here till 11 o'clock. I'm going to post this on YouTube right now as we speak. So do your thing. All right. We out of here. Bye.